All hail the mighty rising from the deep. Oh yes, that's right, folks. Gowl's Giant coming at you here in this replay. Another one from Cool Umbrella. And certainly a cool dude. I believe this is actually a tournament replay from when he was still with BBB based on the name of him and the name of the replay. Up against Alfredino and it's some undead on undead action, which uh, means that the Gallows Giant makes this replay acceptable, basically. <laughs> we, we've got uh, that plus a uh, Halberd, a uh, Fleet Admiral of Vampires. So it's basically like discount Noctilus, like Walmart Noctilus we have at home. Lampy's Revenge here, we've got a couple of, uh, yeah, them and some other Rotting Promethean Gunnery mobs. Uh, Halberd front line with some deckhands in the back. Another Halberd there, we've got some handgun mobs with some animated hulks, uh, sirens in the center, and a single bomber mob. So quite a mixed blob of coast nastiness. As for the counts, uh, we're going to be seeing Manfred the bald head up in the air with Vargolf as well. We've got four Vargais. Been seeing a lot of Vargais lately. It's pretty interesting. Uh, zombies, skeleton warriors as a front line and second line with uh, Conic Sign stalkers way out on the side. Very interesting. They don't have stock, even though their name is the Stalkers. Anyway, let's not think too hard about that. We've got Black Knights also out on the flanks, already pushing some surround. So let's get things rolling full speed. And this build for Coast is pretty smart in a number of ways. It takes advantage of large armored units, which the Vampire Counts tend to struggle with. Coast also has, of course, the Gallows Giant, which not only is awesome, but tends to actually be pretty decent against melee focus factions, especially factions that are going to rush you with a lot of melee infantry. As long as it has time to sit and fire, it can absolutely just burminate through hordes and hordes of infantry. They're pretty decent in melee against them as well, so we see there already some opening salvos blasting. Just skeleton warriors, but still, it's a spectacle, so let's keep things close. Even though this is like the worst fire VFX in the game now. It makes me love it even more, to be honest, since most other fire VFX looks pretty good since it's been reworked like the lore of fire or various factions. Here's to hoping if Vampire Coast ever gets a rework, they uh, improve the VFX for the Boar Gallows Giant, because, yeah, it's, it's missile attack looks... I mean, there's parts of it look, look good, like the gun itself, when it's not firing, looks good, but then it shoots out this... Whatever that is, I don't even know. You guys can make up your own names for it. But anyway, the, the counts are just going to pile in. The bar guys kind of go straight into the heart of this formation, which means they end up getting somewhat surrounded by crabs and other various nasties. They are going to start to struggle in terms of their leadership. That said, Manfred drops down on this far side here. And let's see if he can kind of stabilize the situation somewhat. There's no corpse carts or passive healing support here in this vampire counts build, which is also a little bit odd, but... I mean, maybe he was worried about them getting sniped. I'm not sure. The Vargais, though, I mean, he lost like 3,000, 4,000 value worth of Vargais already, which is pretty, pretty painful. Um, let's see if the Vampire Counts can claw their way back. But, yeah, that charge was pretty ill-advised, all things considered, although all four Vargais did actually survive. Maybe they can come in and get some healing. We see a little Beta Buna there just one-shotting that unit of Sirens, so that's pretty decent. Um, and, of course, the Vargolf also fighting here as well. Let's check in on the Gallows Giant. Looks like he is trying to burminate the Black Knights. Struggling to get in line of sight, though. So we'll keep it over here as the Vargais continue to fight alongside Manfred. Big old monster blob attacking the flank here. Counteracted by the monsters of the coast. Of course, animated hulks can come in here and provide some cost-effective body blocking, but... Uh, Vargas are actually surviving for a surprisingly long amount of time, considering how much damage they've taken. All four units are technically still alive, although one of them, it looks like, is just about to pop here. Black Knight's also getting in, compromising some missile positions here. They managed to avoid most of the slow zombie halberds uh, initially, and do get in and do quite a bit of damage to this uh, ranged backline here. Finally, we see an overcast invocation of the heck out of Manfred. I don't know, maybe he casted another one already on these Vargais that I missed, but it does hit uh, at least, yeah, all three units of Vargais, which is going to keep them alive momentarily. The uh, Vargolf also is here, taking some damage and struggling in terms of leadership, but holding it together for the time being. Counts surround on coast is 
working some magic, but uh, at the end of the day, the Konigstein Stalkers don't have the stopping power to get through those rotting Prometheans, so... Um, man, like a Wind of Death or Purple Sun right in the center of this zombie blob would be so juicy right now, help thin out a lot of these numbers, but... Uh, yeah, balance of power is still staying more or less where it has been this entire time. Vampire counts are holding, at least for the time being. Oh, Manfred gets up in the air and he's going to use a breath attack to deliver some AoE damage there into that nice little blobby pocket. And then get another charge down, and somehow these Vargais are still alive, man. One of them getting reasonably close to its healing cap, actually, so that's pretty interesting to see. Gala's Giant is now trying to burn Manfred himself. It's not great at shooting at single entities, generally, in my experience. Much better against hordes of infantry, but the hordes of infantry are already somewhat starting to disappear. I mean... Yeah, it's, uh, it's a game, for sure. Let's see Manfred up close. Taking some chomps out of some zombies. Gala's Giant's gonna try and queue up a shot here. Does manage to get some contact on that one. Does some damage to Manfred, and at the very least is going to burn him so that he cannot, uh, you know, get as much healing, obviously, right? He's on fire, then the rate of his healing will be reduced. So, let's see. Manfred queuing up another breath attack there. Gonna go into the Rotting Prometheans. Do some pretty decent damage. Man, these Vargites are still alive somehow. I gotta say, credit to... Even if just for keeping the Vargais alive after that initial blunder, very impressive. They've been able to contribute some value. I'd be curious to see their final values at the end of the game, but Manfred just continuing to get roasted here as he tries to fight against the crabs. Really not even challenging the Gallus Giant in melee yet, which to a degree actually does make sense if he can thin out, you know, the crabs, animated hulks here. It will provide him some more avenues to attack, but the problem with vampire counts is they just ran out of steam so fast. I really think that some of that Vargeist value would have been better served as just other units, maybe just Crypt Horrors, or, you know, try and work in, like, a Corpse Cart with some other mobility. I'm not really sure. Not an expert in undead versus undead by any means. I tend to avoid it at all costs, but today, with the Gallows Giant, I couldn't resist. So the Crab's holding back. What's left of the skeletons and zombies of the Counts. And, yeah, Gallus Giant gonna queue up one more shot. Misses Manfred as he flies up into the sky. Manfred going for one more breath attack there. The Vargais are actually gone now, I can verify. Oh man, that shot on the Varga, uh, the Vargolf actually did some pretty decent damage. But uh, Manfred gonna pull up some more zombies here try and continue fighting. Of course, Manfred does get a lot of extra Winds of Magic from that Sword of Unholy Power. It's not exactly infinite. Eh, I guess technically it could be. It's 0.1 reserves per second, so, you know, 10 seconds you get another one power reserve, which is pretty good, actually. It does require him to stay in melee, though, so let's see. I'm impressed the Vampire Counts have managed to hold on as long as they have, but things are looking pretty grim at this point. Gallus Giant has managed to rack up 350 kills without even getting past 2,000 value, which is pretty impressive, all things considered. But uh, let's just keep it in cinematic, Cam. Not a lot of tactics to talk about at this point, as Manfred faces off against the entire ocean's worth of sea monsters. Grabs and animated hulks in bulk, you could say. Vargolf sticking around, though. And another flaming attack there. Manages to actually hit Manfred as he's sitting on the top of the dragon, which is extremely impressive, I have to say. Especially for a, you know, animated walking ship crewed by a bunch of rotting zombie bags. Pretty impressive stuff, and somehow the vampire counts are, like, not completely eliminated yet. This Vargolf is grinding here, taking some hits, but also doing some damage. Manfred also takes another shot there from the Gallows Giant, so this actually could take some time. The Admiral moves in. He's got a halberd. He can actually help do some pretty good damage. Another nice, solid contact there. I'm actually pretty surprised. That is a pretty small window to try and get, like, a, a shot on the Vargulf. And look at that. Gal's Giant just clears the head of its friendlies right over the heads of the Hulks and the Crabs. Just manages to headshot the Vargulf. 
in the kind of very small window he has. So that's Sniper Gallus Giant today. I'm very impressed by the accuracy, I have to say. Yeah, look at that, man. Like, right in that tight little window. I've seen worse throws from professional American football quarterbacks, honestly. That's like, that is an impressively tight window to fit that <laughs> shooting attack into. Very good stuff. Manfred summoning up zombies like it's no tomorrow. And it's actually kind of helping. It's allowing him and the Vargolf to cycle charge a little bit and do some damage to these... Uh, these crabs, although the crabs and the animated hulks are so great in number, especially with the uh, Admiral holding out at this point. I'm just not confident that the Vampire Counts will be able to win this, but let's see. A little Spirit Leech there. Try and finish off the Lamprey's Revenge. Interesting. They're just about done, but we still got another unit of Rotting Prometheans. They're going to eat an Invocation of the Heck. Get some nice healing. Very efficient. And maybe even restore some models. Let's see. I'll keep their unit card up so you can see if the model pops back into existence. Doesn't look like it, but still, solid amount of healing there. Gallows Giant wheels up and around the side. We saw it getting some impressive hits despite its supposedly blocked line of sight. But here it has a very clear line of sight. Should be able to hit one or both these targets. Vargolf actually goes down there. Manfred's time is also now numbered. Oh, look at the photo finish with the Lamprey's Revenge, just bl or the <laughs> Gallows Giant and Lamprey's Revenge, to be honest. Absolutely beautiful. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Um, yeah, cool umbrella here. Just wreck and shop with these uh, monsters of the Vampire Coast, supporting them with the appropriate units, even if those support units all just die horribly. Yeah, some of the pole arms actually got some pretty good value, like 750 on cheap zombie pole arm is just fantastic. So... Yeah, the rest of the zombies also. I mean, granted, you get some inflated healing. Not as much as you otherwise would, but I really... Uh, like, the Konigstein Stalkers is an odd one for me. I'd probably just straight up cut them and take a corpse cart instead to try and sustain, you know, like, the rest of the zombies. Or, like, especially these Black Knights, the Vargulfs. You can always pull back to where the corpse cart is to get a little bit of passive healing. I mean, I'm not sure, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, Manfred is going to be the only one mainly that kind of pays for himself here for the Vampire Counts build, which is pretty rough. But still, enjoyable for me because I hate vampire counts. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that one. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.